gonna cost up to forty thousand dollars tornado warning and i'm trying to figure this out and it turned out really good i'm not finished yet you fell we didn't tell y'all about the drama get set good morning it is monday the day after easter we had a good easter yesterday it was very peaceful we actually took a break from unpacking and settling into this house but today we're right back to you know unpacking and trying to do everything we actually still have a lot of stuff left in the trailer that is just heavy stuff like washer dryer refrigerator all that we actually have movers coming out tomorrow to help with that because it's just too heavy the hill going up and down it's just too much you know um and then we don't want to damage our refrigerator yeah it's been very interesting it has been interesting because of space. So I mentioned before that our house is bigger than our previous house, but when it comes to like certain spaces, like the kitchen, the laundry room, the bathrooms, they're smaller and we've, we've downsized in those areas. And this is our fourth time moving, like me and Jeremy moving as a married couple. And with every single move, we've upsized, you know, our kitchen got bigger, our storage in our kitchen got bigger, our laundry room got bigger, our bathrooms got bigger. And obviously with that, you accumulate more, you have more because you have more space to store it. But since this move is completely different and completely downsized <laughs> like with the kitchen i'm struggling i'm struggling to find a spot for all of these things that i have especially my pantry like i had a pretty big pantry and you know i had like lots of jars like stuff like this i don't know if this is too bright i have like a lot of stuff like this just big jars with you know my flowers my sugars my beans my just all of your pantry essentials and i don't know where to put that stuff because my pantry is significantly smaller like it is probably a fourth probably not even a fourth of the size of my old pantry and same with kitchen space like i have literally four drawers in this kitchen four drawers right and let me just put things into perspective. My previous kitchen had well over 10 drawers. So I do not know where all this stuff is going to go. And I've already tossed so many things that I don't necessarily grab all the time or things that I, you know, it's just kind of like convenience and I could just do it with my hands. So I just kind of tossed it or like certain knives that I, I don't need three of, you know? So it's it's just been really challenging. I, like I said, I'm struggling. Same with the laundry room. Like we used to have a actual laundry room. Yes. I'm trying to pace myself, but it's so hard when like, I'm just so ready to be settled in back to a normal routine because it's like every day that I'm not settled and every day that I'm not focusing on the girls and trying to just do what we would normally do. It's like the worst off they act and they start fighting and they start wanting to eat every second because they're bored. You know, it's like... <sighs> that I'm just like life is beautiful like life has been such a great change like it's been such a great change and I just feel so much joy and I feel happy like I really do like I feel I feel happier it's it's one of those things that's just kind of hard to explain but like just with Jeremy being home now and us being together all the time and just looking out the windows and like nature and so beautiful and just there's so many joyful happy people that live here in Ohio that speak all the time and like life is good like life 
I feel great. But that one little thing that is irking my life is the fact that we do not have structure right now and we do not have routine like Gia don't even have a bed so she's not sleeping normally so every single day she's fussy and whiny and not happy and wanting to be held but it's like I can't hold you we have to unpack this trailer we have to unpack we have to uh, it's difficult it is very very difficult making such a big move with three kids yeah but that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to figure out where all of these things are going in this kitchen. And I'm just so ready. I'm so ready for a kitchen renovation. I can't remember if I shared in this vlog or if I shared in general that one of the biggest things that we we're going to do as far as investing into this home was doing a kitchen renovation. But turns out we basically need all new windows we basically need new siding you know on the exterior of the house and that is gonna cost up to forty thousand dollars so there goes my kitchen renovation so i'm gonna be stuck with this setup for a lot longer than i had anticipated but god is still good you know god is still good Our first tornado warning. <laughs> Welcome to Ohio. <laughs> Welcome to Ohio. The girls are unfazed. Say hi to the vloggy. Hi, vloggy. Not doggy. Say hi, vloggy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi, vloggy. Hi. Say goodbye. Bye. Today is Wednesday. Welcome to day 3000 of trying to get this kitchen organized. This probably is the most stressful part of the move for me. Like, I didn't really realize how many kitchen tools and eatware and serveware and cookware and just all the things the gadgets the machines like i have so many things and i don't have places to put them the fact that i already like donated a bunch of stuff back at the old house and then now i'm also trying to get rid of things here has been crazy because Everything that I have, pretty much everything that I have, I use all the time. Or at least, I at least use it occasionally, you know? And it's like, I don't want to part ways with it. Like, I'm, like, my home is the kitchen. You know, I cook a lot. I do a lot in the kitchen. I have, like, I decorate cakes at times. And I have, like, the little turntable thing for decorating cake. It's just, like, so many things up. And I don't know where to put them. And it's and this is becoming so stressful. Right now, I don't know if you guys can see just everything. Everything is everything. And pretty much all of the cabinets and things are all filled. This area is not because I have all of my mugs to put away. And I have a lot of mugs. I like mugs. I love mugs. And this little compartment right here is not going to cut it. It's just not. Um, the, it's just crazy. I have stuff everywhere. Y'all know I love baskets. And I have no space to put any of my baskets. I still have. Can you please stop? I have boxes of things still. I still have like some pots and things over there and I even I even started with you know like space saving sort of thing I'll link these below in the description if you guys are interested because I mean I just I guess I didn't have to do this before I just did it and so I'm like trying to save space for some of the pots and pans that I have 
over on the back end but yeah it's just been it's been wild it's been wild i have some mugs there that i just finished cleaning and also some mugs there that i still have to clean i ended up thrifting this shelf yesterday i'm not a fan of the color but i'm just kind of gonna leave it because it's not on the priority list right now to be painting and sanding and doing all that stuff so i'm just gonna use this and hang it over here on the wall jeremy actually just went to get brackets for it because i'm gonna be able to like put maybe some more mugs maybe some of my dishes like serving dishes just certain storage things that i don't necessarily use all the time but that also look pretty out on display so that should be helpful i just feel like i've never taken so long in my entire life to unpack it's it's a challenge and even in my bathroom upstairs like we went from having one two three four five six we went from having six drawers six really big drawers and two really big cabinets jeremy had three of his own drawers he had his own cabinet i had three drawers and my own cabinet in the bathroom and now we're down to just one cabinet and it's crazy because like when we toured the home and like we looked at the home, we weren't really like focused on those things. Like we were more so focused on like, like the living space, how, how big the spaces are and the lands and the location and the front yard and the, just, you know, all those things we were focused on. And I don't regret any decisions. I really don't because I would take this any day over having a bigger bathroom a bigger kitchen storage all that stuff because with that i didn't have my husband home full time with that i also didn't have a lot of land so it's like this is more important and i i'm still happier <laughs> even in this circumstance so but it's just crazy and i'm trying to figure this out it's like playing tetris and getting creative so i've been on amazon just ordering a lot of like space saver storage organization type things but yeah let's let's get to work and see what we can do oh oh i forgot to mention that we took out our vintage refrigerator and we brought our older one well it's not old we brought our refrigerator that was in the other house but it's too big it won't fit in this area right here so our refrigerator is literally on the other side of this wall so in order to get to the refrigerator i gotta travel a bit and voila come over here the, we still don't have the handles back on but yeah so this is literally what we're working with we, everything i just feel like everything's in shambles right now wild <laughs> so dumb to me it looks so dumb it looks like it's not supposed to be on the wall i think it, it looks, looks like it is supposed to be on the floor because there's legs and it's high up like I'm and it's six, very I'm, six, high. I'm six three so you can kind of see how high it is up here this is just gonna have to do for now because i can't be bothered with trying to figure out where to put things it, this is like really stressful <laughs> The 
this is a sad story it's happening again a bunch of stuff that I have to get rid of uh, some of my amazing thrift finds our place pots I even have my art place pan just you know the reality I also have more over here that I can't fit but I'm definitely not getting rid of my deep fryer parts to my air fryer um, just you know my ice cream maker so I have to find a place for that More biscuits? Yeah. Oh, more. Is there more? A little bit. Can I have one? I want one. How about you guys share this? I'm gonna half it, okay? I have jelly on it. It's hot. Okay, well, can you, can, you, can you give them some more jelly? Yeah. Here, girls. Well, Breakfast? Well, this is more of a brunch. It is currently 1.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, to be exact. So why are you We're just your, still not... Then why are you leaving your clothes on the floor? We don't have a normal schedule right now. And I feel like we won't until quite some time. I just know for me, I've been staying up late trying to get things done. Because at night, yeah, right. Because at night is the only time I feel like I can just really get stuff done without any interruptions, you know? But we are, I mean, things are starting to feel a little bit more like homey. Home vibes. We finally got our bed up last night. We got a new bed frame. Our bed is up. We just need to like put the sheets and all those things on. Yeah, we finally have a TV up. Kitchen is pretty much what it's gonna be until renovation. Yeah, like all the bedrooms are looking good. Like we're doing well. Like we're in a condition to be living and you know. But this front room over here, we still have like a lot of boxes and things over there. And I wanna work on that. Oh, I forgot to mention, I built a shelf for the girls in their playroom and it turned out really good. I'm not finished yet. I'm like probably halfway done. But as of right now, it's functional, it's doing its job. But I do wanna put like doors on it, I wanna paint it, I wanna just, you know, give it a, a, an aesthetic look. Cause right now, like I said, it's just functional and it does not, it don't look cute. But, that's my first wood working project and I'm very 
very pleased with how things are moving along so i'm excited to do a lot more projects in the future i don't know today i want to go outside like i just feel like we've been so not stuck because we're not stuck nobody's forcing us to stay in the house but i just feel like because we've been trying to get settled and unpack and do all the things we've just been stuck in the house and not really going outside and today's a beautiful day um and I do want to get outside for a little bit, let the girls play and stuff. Um, but I also want to get stuff done in this house. So, you know, those things. So she woke up. Already? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so when we went to an antique shop, I bought this potato masher. Isn't it so cute? Like, isn't that the cutest? little antique looks like you got a find huh it looks like i have to paint it yes no this is the beauty of it it's been used stood the test of time i used it when i was making my dough for my biscuits and i was really just trying to use it because i wanted to use it <laughs> but it didn't work but i actually need one of those what is it called a pastry blender Baby, put it down. Nobody cares about that's that. that. But yeah, I want to eventually get a pastry blender. I, that's actually what I was looking for when we went to the antique shop and then I came across the potato masher. I've been wanting one for a while because I can't use my hands like mixing up the flour in the dough. I mean, mixing up the, the flour and the butter. Because my hands, you guys, I don't know what's up with my hands, but my hands cramp up so easily. Like, I feel like, I feel like I'm in the earlier stages of carpal tunnel, and I don't like that at all. So, using my hands to, like, knead and mix flour and butter is just a task and my hands are always cramping and hurting so i really want to get one of those pastry blenders we've been wanting to find a church and there's been so many people who reached out to us like recommending churches and inviting us to churches that they are members of <laughs> but yeah like everybody's been so kind and just inviting us to so many different churches i want to say we have at least three churches to visit that we've been invited to but i don't want to like start like having a routine until we are settled at home you know it's just it's a task already just trying to get everybody out of the house and dressed and on time you know and it's like i want to i want to i want to show up ready for whatever church that we attend so <laughs> right now we're just trying to You guys watch your own YouTube channel? Hmm? Yes. My copy. But anyways, I'm talking too much. Let's, let's so get I, the day I'm going. So, I'm going to smash this? No, you're not. So, Pose for the camera now, please. So, please. I got these bananas. So, if you like this, you can get this cup. Goodbye. Hi, baby. Hi. What are you doing? You want kombucha? Yeah. This is my kombucha. Trying to find something to do? Yeah, you are. <laughs> You're itching. I want to cut these trees down. <laughs> I just Don't love, 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 love the way this land has given them like such an opportunity to want to be outside to run wild oh my gosh and it's like so much satisfaction we literally have not had a day to just relax to be in the moment we slightly kind of kind of had a day like that on easter but even then we we really didn't it wasn't like a full day of like relaxing and enjoying each other so right now the fact that we are finally sitting the girls are playing and enjoying and having fun and it's just peaceful it's a beautiful day i think we should soak this in 
I want to cut some of these trees down, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I want to see my land. They, I think they look pretty. I like them. <laughs> we haven't had a mailbox. I don't know what happened to the mailbox. I don't know. This house is. Baby, this house is actually quite a mystery. So from the neighbors, we learned a lot about the history of this house. And I know I mentioned in a, a previous vlog that this house was vacant for four years. But turns out the neighbor directly in front of us told us that they have been living in their house for 25 years. And since they've been living in their house, this house has been vacant so a full 25 years nobody has literally been like full-time living here that is wild it is wild and it makes a lot of sense why the outside of this house is so like weathered and just not maintained yet the inside is very up to par and like the wood and the stairs and everything like everything looks really well kept and i I mean, it just makes sense because nobody has been inside of it, but the weather has been doing the damage to the outside. So um, this house went up for auction two different times. So there was no real family owner or no real owner who was invested in living in this house. So it's just crazy. So that's why there's no mailbox because who knows what happened to it? Who knows how long ago? So I ordered a mailbox from Amazon and Jeremy wants to go put it up now because we need a place to receive our mail. Not even my shoes. That's the problem. It's still so wet out here. Oh, you guys got me all dirty. Jeremy, look what your kids did to me. You fell? Yes. She was they the did. I did. Look at me. She it was, was slippery. She was and look at my shoes. They ain't got no grip. I mean, they're not she even shoes. I was dipping. Where's the, uh, trying to catch Seda. She was fast. Why are you breathing so hard? Because I'm out of breath. It's already open, but don't open it, okay? Because we need everything to be in place. Okay, let's see. I'm daddy. Mm -hmm. I'm daddy. You want daddy? Huh? You don't want to be with me? I'm daddy. You want daddy? Yeah. Well, daddy will be back, okay? So in the meantime, you got to be with mommy. Got it? Yeah, I'm mommy. I'm gonna, you're gonna be with me. Oh. Yes. Oh. Bye. Oh, I can't see. I can't see, baby. All right, so we got one right here, one right there, one right there. Hold on, boo boo. Is that the right one? Let me see. No, that's the wrong one. We need the one that has the point, the pointy tip. Oh, this is hurting my knee. Okay, all right, Gia. Baby, no more, okay? No more, okay? I'm not. 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 I'm not.
So while the mailbox concrete is drying, we are gonna take a little stroll around the property. It's been a while since we went all the way around. So we're gonna take a little stroll and just enjoy the outdoors today until, you know, sunset. What are you doing, baby? We have to eat for the mud. For the mud? For the mud. Pile. Well, yeah, but I think they look at the they, yeah. these over here mating. These ladybugs, they're over here over mating. Here. This is why they up in our house. They they doing too much. Come see, Mama. Right there. Like, why do animals mate and move? Why don't they stay still? But yeah, this is why these ladybugs is all up in our house. They just steady making babies. Huh? Who do you think planted this? This one? Mm-hmm. I don't know what it's our tree. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't tell y'all about the drama between um, us and the neighbor. Well, it wasn't even drama with us. It was drama because this pathway area that we're walking on, this right here, going all the way that way, basically from this gate, this gate to, yeah, this gate, ends Gross. our property, the property over everything over to my left is our property okay so the surveyors yeah so there's a yeah this is where they put they put a metal pin well there's a metal pin there that they marked metal pin in the ground and they marked right here where our property ends which is obviously right outside his gate and this man was putting up a fight saying no this alleyway this pathway this road is his but we're like we're not even us because he was arguing with the surveyors but it's like bro i know this house has been vacant forever but that don't mean it's yours <laughs> that was just, the, just the surveyors but that's what the county has on file yeah that's what the county has like, on file too so it's like it's very evident that that is our yeah. land but he's the only careful knock it off but he's the only one like putting up a fight saying like no that's not the truth because years ago but it's like it's not about years ago it's about what's Fact. right now Fact. and Just yeah facts. so it's funny because right now we see that there's like this tree this tree planet and it looks like a christmas tree some sort of like i don't know this the the, the I, don't, I know i don't know the types of trees that are used for christmas but it looks like one of them <laughs> And it's on our property and it looks brand new and it looks like it'll be ready to harvest during December. So I'm like Time out. So what should, what should I do? Should should he see me or should I be a nice guy? Or should I just be the real I could be a jerk, you know what I'm saying? So Daddy should I be the jerk? No, never, never be the jerk because it's my property. Daddy, like this is how am I being a jerk, bro? Like it's my property. So should I just go ahead and just knock that thing down and just lay it right there or maybe throw it onto his own property? Or should I just let it be for now? My now let me know. Really flim well, honestly, Boo, this year I would like to go to a Christmas tree farm and get a real one. We've never had a real Christmas tree. <laughs> That's so amazing. Like, I have free wood just for me, for grabsies. I love it. The deers are going to be passing by very soon. Oh, no, we're going to be stuck here. No, we're not, baby. They're scared of us, okay? Nice little nature walk. But my camera's gonna die, so Mama. gotta go. Check this out, y'all. I stumbled across some green onion. We got green onion growing. I did a duck. How cool is that? I did a I picked it and I smelled it, and it smells of green Mama. onion. I'm gonna eat it. We got green onion. You wanna mm -hmm. try it? No. You scared? Mm. You scared? <laughs> I don't want to do trees on my property. How cool! I can try. I already have a garden. I haven't even put in any work. What are you doing? Somebody's getting sleepy. <laughs> on your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Ready, set, go! 
Who's gonna be the first one to fall? Who's gonna be the first one to fall? <laughs> you're going fast, huh? Sid, are you good? I can't be just going into a full on sprint without warming up and stretching. So this tell me about the race. So tell me about the race. Who, who you want to thank? I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. I want to thank my husband. Yeah. For supporting me through all of my endeavors. Yeah. I just want to thank my kids. How did you yeah. race with they, they give me the motivation every single day. Okay. I just want to thank my parents for making me. Yep. Because without me, uh -huh. there would be no me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys, get ready. Oh, hold on, let me stretch. Satan was all crossing me. Did you see that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> get set. Go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Where are they going? Where are they going? <laughs> All right, come back. How about you guys run straight? Go. It's so wild when they run. <laughs> <laughs> so you the champion, who would you like to thank? Man, first and foremost, man, I want to thank everybody from the set. You already know where you are. What? You already know who y'all is, you know what I'm saying? Identify the dookie. Those are blueberries. Who's, do <laughs> blueberries. Who's Dookie is that? <laughs>